the another type of operator that we have got uh, is equality operator and in equality operator like equality operator is basically uh, used to compare the values that are there in two variables or uh, in one variable with a static value or with a constant value and it is used like everywhere to compare the values and it is like signified as double equals to as it is given over here so equals to equals to two times uh, means it is uh, it is an equality operator in apex so yeah now let's talk about the different different rules that we have got with equality operator number one and the most important rule string comparison using equals to is case sensitive that's it so some of you who uh, are from like a background of java or something like that then in uh, in java what happens is if you are trying to compare two strings right the reference of those two strings are getting uh, like gets compared and if you want to compare the value of those two strings you have to use equals method but in apex it's, it's not true because in java string is a class but over here it's a primitive data type so if you are using e double equals to with uh, two strings then in that case it will compare the values but the values that it will compare will be or the comparison that it will do with the values will be case insensitive so here is example an example the uh, number one string that we have got is uh, string s1 is equals to abc and the other string is abc but in small and if we'll compare this it will return a true value over here so you have to make sure uh, or you have to understand this or you have to learn this that string comparison using double equals to or using the equality operator in apex is case insensitive but rule 2 says something else rule 2 says that id comparison follows or respects the case sensitivity that means that if you'll use equal equality operator or double equals to operator to compare two ids the case sensitivity will matter and it is yeah it is different when it comes to strings so in strings the case sensitivity doesn't matter if you're comparing it with double equals to operator but if you're comparing ids then in that case case sensitivity will matter and here is an example for to see that so over here i have got two ids id i1 and uh, yeah i2 and there's only one difference the gr in i2 is capital and the gr in i1 is small so if i'm going to execute this statement it's going to return false to me let's have a look like why to wait executing this statement and watching out the output false right so this is what i was trying to explain when it comes to id so again id comparison using equality operator is case sensitive do you remember the times when you used to compare the values which are there in one list with another list one by one in a for loop yeah i i mean i i had those times as well but in apex you do not need to compare two lists or two arrays values one by one because we have got equality operator so with the help of equality operator in apex we can actually like uh, check the values which are stored in two lists or two arrays whatever you want to say so if both the list has got same values if we'll try to uh, like uh, compare those values with the help of equality operator if all like both the list has got same values then it will return true and if any of the values are different then in that case it will return a false value let's have a look at this particular example so i've created a list and this list is a and another list is b and i've got another list c and this c list has got 1 2 3 4 5 as a uh, yeah what values inside it and uh, in a also i'm storing what 1 2 3 4 5 as a value over here i plus 1 so i is 0 when i will be 0 it will store 1 and when i will be 2 it will store uh, sorry i will be 1 it will store 2 and when i will be 3 it will store 4 whatever like respectively and a and c has got 1 2 3 4 5 same values and uh, yeah so over here if i'll try to print uh, a it will like show 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, when i'll like print b then it will show null 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 and when i'll compare a equals to equals to b then it will return a false value because both of these has not got same values one has got 1 2 3 4 5 and another one has got null 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 whereas when i'll compare a with the c it will return true because 
both the list has got the same values and at the same index. So equality operator performs a deep check of values when it comes to list. So you do not have to compare every value one by one when it comes to list. So the same rule is applied with built-in Apex objects and all the collections that we have got in Apex with the equality operator of course. It's time for rule 4 and rule 4 simply says that uh, whenever you create user defined objects, uh, if you will try to compare it with double equals to operator, it will just compare the reference of both of those uh, objects, not the values which are stored into those particular objects and that makes sense as well. But before that, let me explain to you uh, that what is user defined object. You must be thinking like what is user defined object. So the classes that you create by yourself in uh, Salesforce or in Apex and then you create object of those classes are called as user defined objects. That's it. So whenever you will try to compare uh, two objects of the classes that you have created by yourself, it will only compare the reference because that's the default functionality. And that's what this rule is saying. User defined types are compared by reference. Which means that two objects are equal if they reference the same location in the memory. So that's what it is. And here is a uh, here is an example that will explain it to you a bit uh, more. So I have uh, created my class uh, already. Like I've already got my class. Let me just show it to you. What is there in that my class? My class two it is. So I'll open that. It's a simple class. You can define anything what you want in, inside this particular class. I have not defined anything. I just wanted to create uh, this what user defined object over here. So uh, my class 2 m1 uh, has another object. My class 2 m2 has another object. But in my class 3 m3, I have stored the reference of m1. So when I'll compare m1 double equals to m2, it will return false because both of these reference variables are pointing to two different objects. Whereas uh, this m3 is pointing to my class 2 object uh, which is created uh, like which created at this particular statement let me like take a help of a diagram to explain it to you so uh, when i when i executed that uh, so when i executed that statement m1 is equals to an object got created right then i created m2 reference variable then another object got created right but when I created m3 reference variable, I assigned m1 inside it. So m3 is also referencing to the same object which m1 is. So when I'll compare both of these objects or both of these reference variables, obviously they are pointing to the same object and that is stored onto the same location in the memory. So it's gonna return a true value. That's it. And yeah, but if uh, in any case, if you want to uh, change this functionality, then in that case, what you got to do is you need to override the two methods which are hash code and equals method. So like you need to override these two methods and whenever you will try to compare the values uh, using equals to it will call the, uh, that equals method and will compare the values which you want to compare. Uh, if, if, if you have overridden that value in this my class 2 or over not, not that value but if you have overridden that method uh, inside the my class 2 and which method I am talking about equals and hash code that's it now let's talk about exact equality operator so you have al already understood exact uh, no you have already understood equality operator now i'm going to talk about exact equality operator so whenever you only want to compare the location of the variables in the memory then in that case you can use triple equals to which refers to exact equality operator so by the name you must be thinking that exact equality operator is is the one which always compares the values not the references but it's actually opposite it always compares the location in the memory for that particular variable so if two uh, reference variables are pointing to the same location and in that case this will return a true value and if they are not uh, referring to the same location into the memory and even if they have got same values it will return a false value that's basically what the use of exact equality operator and similarly we've got another operator exact inequality operator so that's just opposite of exact equality operator it just negates the output of exact equality operator